So over the last couple of months, I've had a lot of people asking me kind of the same question, but really about two different apps. We're talking about the Game Pass app for Surface Duo and the Xbox app also for Surface Duo in this instance, because both of these apps are uh, varying degrees of broken. And I've already done a video on this channel about how to fix the Game Pass app. I'm gonna cover that again very quickly, and then I'm gonna also cover how to fix the Xbox app to allow you to do remote play on your console. So you have an Xbox console, you're gonna remote play that game on your console to your Surface Duo. Both of these are fairly easy problems to fix. I don't know why they need to be fixed, right? This is definitely a problem, okay? So these apps have been broken and Microsoft just isn't fixing them for some reason and that is very, very frustrating. But again, you can fix them fairly easily yourself. So the first thing you gotta do on your uh, Surface Duo device, to, we're gonna do, do the uh, Game Pass streaming app first. So go to the Play Store and search for Game Pass. You're gonna see that the pre-installed version I actually have disabled and there's a reason for this. We're not gonna use it anymore. Scroll down and look for Game Pass Beta. This is the one you want to download. If you install it and set that up, you ought to be able to stream your games just fine. For those that maybe don't know, the problem with the uh, non-beta version of the app is not that games won't stream, right? Games will stream just fine. The problem is that you don't have your custom controls. So you're supposed to be able to turn on auto-rotate. You're supposed to then span your application and then stream a game like Grounded, which we're going to do here. And you should see this pop up, rotate your Surface Duo for the best experience. And what you're going to get is your game on one screen and your controls on the other. Let me move this so that you can see. And you can see that here in person and otherwise. My game is up top and my controls are on the bottom. And hopefully you can understand and see here that everything is working just fine now with my custom controls fully in place. Now, as for the Xbox app, the problem here being that you have your Xbox console, you're trying to stream a game from the console to your phone, and that apparently uh, just is not working for people. I don't have an Xbox console to test this with, but apparently this is the fix. Back in the Play Store, you're going to search for Xbox. Let me delete that so I can get to the word Xbox, and uh, you should see the app there. You're going to uninstall it. Now, I don't remember if this actually fully uninstalls the app or if it just reverts it to an earlier version. It is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Next, you're going to click the link in the description, which will open up APK Mirror, and it will start downloading an APK file. Now, what this is, it, is it, it's an older version, if I can speak, of this Xbox app, and we're going to install it. If you're worried about APK Mirror, I've installed a million APKs or you know, Android apps from this website and it has never been a problem. Everyone uses it. It's very, very safe. It should be totally fun. There are a lot of ads, though, so you have to get around that stuff. That's probably the worst part of it. So once that is done, uh, install that. You might get a pop-up saying your browser isn't allowed to install apps. Toggle that box. Go back. Let it install. At that point, you ought to be able to launch your Xbox app and do whatever you need. Now, again, I cannot confirm this myself, but apparently this is the case. Other people have mentioned it. So guys, that's pretty much where we're at. I don't know why these things need to be fixed in this way. I don't know why the Xbox Game Pass beta app works correctly on Duo and the standard one uh, does not, why this has not been rolled out to the standard version. I do not know, what, I do not know why the Xbox app in general does not want to do remote play at this point. Uh, Again, these things need to be fixed by Microsoft. Hopefully they're paying attention and eventually get this stuff fixed. But the good news is it is relatively easy to address and fix yourself. If you see people asking questions about this on the internet, why doesn't this work? How do I fix this? Please direct them to this video to help uh, alleviate that situation and help some of these people out. Guys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.